In this video, we'll draw the Lewis structure for SBF4 minus. The first thing we need to do when we draw Lewis structures, we need to count the valence electrons. This antimony that's in group 15, sometimes called 5A, that'll have five valence electrons. Fluorine is in group 17, that'll have seven. We have four fluorine atoms. In this negative, that means we have an extra electron. So we're just gonna add one to that. So 28 plus five plus one, that gives us 34 total valence electrons for the SBF4 minus Lewis structure. SB is the least electronegative. We'll put that in the center, and then we'll put the fluorines around the outside. Next, we'll put electrons between the atoms. That'll form the chemical bond. So we'll put electrons between each fluorine and the SB, the antimony. Now we'll complete the octets on each fluorine atom. At this point, we've used 32 valence electrons. And we can see each of the fluorine atoms, that has an octet. And that central SB, that also has an octet. But we still have two valence electrons, and we have to put them somewhere. The answer is that SB, antimony, it can have an expanded octet. It's below period 3 on the periodic table. So it can have an expanded octet. So we're going to just drop those in right here. So we end up having 10 valence electrons for the SB, but that's okay because it can have an expanded octet. We should probably put brackets around this and a negative sign to show it's an ion. And then we put a negative sign right here to show that it's an ion. So this is the Lewis structure for SBF4- and this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.